Welcome to Storytime in Seacliff, and it is the first day of spring, and we have a book about sunglasses, sure, and Pete the Cat. Where is, up oh, there he is, there's, there's Aaron Kerr. Um, he suggested this book. It's called Pete the Cat and His Magic Sunglasses. All right, let's go. Pete the Cat didn't feel very happy. He had never, ever, ever, ever been grumpy before. He had the blue cat blues. Oh, no. Uh, then, as if things were not bad enough, along came Grumpy Toad, and the Grumpy Toad was never happy. He always wore a frown. But Grumpy Toad was not grumpy today. He said, these cool blue magic sunglasses make the blues go away. They help you see things in a whole new light. Whoa, okay. So Pete put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and he looked all around, right on. The birds are singing and the sky is bright. The sun is shining and I'm feeling all right. Pete thanked Grumpy Toad for the cool blue magic sunglasses. And sure enough, he went off and he, he saw Squirrel. And Squirrel, well, Squirrel did not look happy. So Pete said, what's wrong, Squirrel? I'm so mad. Nothing's going my way. I only found one acorn today. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Squirrel put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and he looked all around. <gasps> awesome. The birds are singing and the sky is bright. The sun is shining. I'm feeling all right. Pete waved goodbye to Squirrel and he continued on his way home when soon he saw his friend Turtle. Turtle did not look happy. What's wrong, Turtle? I'm so frustrated. Nothing is going my way. I'm all upside down today. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They'll help you see things in a whole new way. Look at how upside down he is. <laughs> well, Turtle put on cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Far out, the birds are singing and the sky is bright. The sun is shining and I'm feeling all right. Pete kept rolling along when he saw Alligator. Oh, Alligator didn't look happy. What's wrong, Alligator, Pete asked. I'm so sad, nothing's going my way. No one wants to play with me today. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They'll help you see things in a whole new way. Alligator put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and he looked all around, rocking. The birds are singing and the sky is bright. The sun is shining. I'm feeling all right. Pete was rolling along and feeling all right himself when suddenly he fell back. Oh no, the cool blue magic sunglasses went crack. Uh-oh, Pete thought. What is he going to do? What will I do without those sunglasses? Just then, Pete looked up in the tree and there was a wise old owl and he said, Pete, you don't need magic sunglasses to th see things in a new way. Just remember to look for the good in every day. Wow. Pete looked around without his sunglasses. Too cool. Yes, the birds are singing. The sky is bright. The sun is shining. We're all feeling all right. Oh, what a great story. And it's perfect for the first day of spring. When we look around and it's a bright, beautiful day, or if it's a dark, dreary day, look for the look for the bright side of things. Right over on, right, Aaron Purr? Okay, and 
I think today we should sing. You got it. Happy spring. We want to welcome spring. Welcome spring back. All right. What kind of a cake would spring have? Would it be chocolate or would it be vanilla? All right. For chocolate, we have Molly, Alice, and Jolene. We have James and Anna and Maeve from Marblehead. Martha and Clara, who are headed to Florida. Yes, Ben and B, Bevy and Henry, Riley, Sophia and her brother KJ, India and her sister Marlo. We have Lila, oh, and Tennessee, Jolene's cousins from Tennessee, Jack and Cole and Nora and Jackson. Mm -hmm. And Graham and Audrey and Lila from Brooklyn and Jolene's friend, Teddy, and Jolene's other very, very good friend, Lucy. Mm -hmm. Lucy loves ducks, like many of us. So, all right, let's see. Those are the chocolate. What about our vanilla people? Well, we have Malia, we have Akash, we have Bruce and Max, we have Jude and Zoe, Patrick. Oh, Harris and Maya, yes, indeed. And Serena, a new girl, Serena, and Nora and Carson from Pennsylvania. We forgot um, Annabelle and her sister, Kira. All right, let me count. Okay, 18 for chocolate, 17 for vanilla. Very close today, very close. But chocolate won, so it's a chocolate cake to welcome the spring. Right, Oberon? Let's do it. Happy spring to you. Happy spring to you. Happy spring, everyone. Happy spring to you. Okay, very good. Thank you, cameraman Dan. Thank you, Oberon. And of course, thank you, Aaron. And remember, I love you all very, very much.